Yarn is a long continuous length of interlocked fibers, suitable for use in the production of textiles, sewing, crocheting, knitting, weaving, embroidery, and rope making. Thread is a type of yarn intended for sewing by hand or machine. Modern manufactured sewing threads may be finished with wax or other lubricants to withstand the stresses involved in sewing. Embroidery threads are yarns specifically designed for hand or machine embroidery. Etymology The word yarn comes from Middle English, from the Old English gern, akin to Old High German's garn yarn, Greek's cord string, and Sanskrit's hiraband. Materials Yarn can be made from any number of natural or synthetic fibers. Many types of yarn are made differently though. There are two main types of yarn, spun and filament. Fibers The most common plant fiber is cotton, which is typically spun into fine yarn for mechanical weaving or knitting into cloth. Cotton and polyester are the most commonly spun fibers in the world. Cotton is grown throughout the world, harvested, ginned, and prepared for yarn spinning. Polyester is extruded from polymers derived from natural gas and oil. Synthetic fibers are generally extruded in continuous strands of gel-state materials. These strands are drawn, stretched, annealed, hardened, and cured to obtain properties desirable for later processing. Synthetic fibers come in three basic forms, staple, tow, and filament. Staple is cut fibers, generally sold in lengths up to 120 mm. Toe is a continuous rope of fibers consisting of many filaments loosely joined side to side. Filament is a continuous strand consisting of anything from one filament to many. Synthetic fiber is most often measured in a weight per linear measurement basis, along with cut length. Denier and tex are the most common weight-to-length measures. Cut length only applies to staple fiber. Filament extrusion is sometimes referred to as spinning but most people equate spinning with spun yarn production. The most commonly spun animal fiber is wool harvested from sheep. For hand knitting and hobby knitting, thick, wool and acrylic yarns are frequently used. Other animal fibers used include alpaca, angora, mohair, llama, cashmere, and silk. More rarely, yarn may be spun from camel, yak, possum, muskox, cat, dog, wolf, rabbit, or buffalo hair, and even turkey or ostrich feathers. Natural fibers such as these have the advantage of being slightly elastic and very breathable while trapping a great deal of air, making for a fairly warm fabric. Other natural fibers that can be used for yarn include linen and cotton. These tend to be much less elastic, and retain less warmth than the animal hair yarns, though they can be stronger in some cases. The finished product will also look rather different from the woolen yarns. Other plant fibers which can be spun include bamboo, hemp, corn, nettle, and soy fiber. Comparison of material properties, in general, natural fibers tend to require more careful handling than synthetics because they can shrink, felt, stain, shed, fade, stretch, wrinkle, or be eaten by moths more readily, unless special treatments such as mercerization or superwashing are performed to strengthen, fix color, or otherwise enhance the fiber's own properties. Protein yarns, that is, hair, silk, feathers, may also be irritating to some people, causing contact dermatitis, hives, wheezing, or other reactions. Plant fibers tend to be better tolerated by people with sensitivities to the protein yarns and allergists may suggest using them more synthetics instead to prevent symptoms. 
Some people find that they can't tolerate organically grown and processed versions of protein fibers, possibly because organic processing standards preclude the use of chemicals that may irritate the skin. When national hair type fibers are burned, they tend to singe and have a smell of burnt hair, this is because many, as human hair, are protein derived. Cotton and viscose, rayon yarns burn as a wick. Synthetic yarns generally tend to melt though some synthetics are inherently flame retardant. Noting how an unidentified fiber strand burns and smells can assist in determining if it is natural or synthetic, and what the fiber content is. Both synthetic and natural yarns can pill. Pilling is a function of fiber content, spinning method, twist, and fabric construction. Yarns combining synthetic and natural fibers inherit the properties of each parent, according to the proportional composition. Synthetics are added to lower cost, increase durability, add unusual color or visual effects, provide machine washability and stain resistance, reduce heat retention or lighten garment weight. Structure Spun yarn is made by twisting staple fibers together to make a cohesive thread, or single. Twisting fibers into yarn in the process called spinning can be dated back to the Upper Paleolithic, and yarn spinning was one of the very first processes to be industrialized. Spun yarns may contain a single type of fiber, or be a blend of various types. Combining Synthetic Fibers which can have high strength, luster, and fire retardant qualities, with natural fibers, which have good water absorbency and skin comforting qualities, is very common. The most widely used blends are cotton polyester and wool acrylic fiber blends. Blends of different natural fibers are common too, especially with more expensive fibers such as alpaca, angora and cashmere. Yarn is selected for different textiles based on the characteristics of the yarn fibers, such as warmth, wool, lightweight, cotton or rayon, durability, nylon is added to sock yarn, for example, or softness, cashmere, alpaca. Yarn is composed of twisted strands of fiber, which are known as plies when grouped together. These strands of yarn are twisted together, plied, in the opposite direction to make a thicker yarn. Depending on the direction of this final twist, the yarn will have either S twist or Z twist. For a single ply yarn, the direction of the final twist is the same as its original twist. The twist direction of yarn can affect the final properties of the fabric and combined use of the two twist directions can nullify skewing in knitted fabric. Filament yarn consists of filament fibers, very long continuous fibers, either twisted together or only grouped together. Thicker monofilaments are typically used for industrial purposes rather than fabric production or decoration. Silk is a natural filament and synthetic filament yarns are used to produce silk-like effects. Texturized yarns are made by a process of air texturizing filament yarns, sometimes referred to as tasselinizing, which combines multiple filament yarns into a yarn with some of the characteristics of spun yarns.